guys. So in an effort to try and keep the content rolling through winter, we're going to do some videos. Uh, this one is going to be new baits for next season. So it's kind of a bad year, 2022 for me. Uh, I had a lot going on, moving, kids, sports and stuff. I probably spent a third of the time on the water than I did in 2021. But I plan on going pretty hard next year and I bought some new tools that I hope will help out. So let's go over some of them. So first uh, I want to talk about the 6.2 inch Sly Guy gill. Uh, 2.75 ounces. I've had one of these. So this guy's like famous, right, for his awesome paint jobs. I had one of his 7 inch gills a while back. And the one issue I had with it, as soon as you got one little paint chip, you got these giant chunks that just started coming off. I don't know if that's just a bait I had or what. But this is, they teamed up with Swimbait Underground and I believe they're using some type of 3D painting process that's like way over my head. But I have actually fished this bait a little last season and it's holding up pretty well. Just have a few tiny spots. So I don't know if that process will hold, ultimately hold up a lot better, but so far I think, I think that will be true. He also has these silicone tails that don't get kinked up if you like leave them in a box. They pretty much just snap back right right into place. So I'm a big fan of those new tails that he's using. All underground supply company hardware. Size six split rings it comes with and size two hooks. Typically a fan of downsizing the hooks, but um, I might actually rock with these for a while and see how it pans out for me. But I purchased this bait because you know sometimes you can't get that reaction bite and you just have to have bait fish that matches the hatch. You, you hear that all the time, right? So if you get these finicky fish and they're just following and inspecting these baits and they need, sometimes they have to look as real as possible. So that is why I purchased this bait and I have limited experience with it last year, got it towards the end of the season, but it looks phenomenal in the water. Makes different sink rates, but this is the um, slow sink, about four to five seconds per foot, and it'll drop. I hope this bait can put some big fish in the boat for me this season. If you guys have any experience with it, let me know. All right, let's move on to the DD Gill. This is made by Danny Delamater. I think I said that right. AKA Delta Dude 4 on Instagram. You guys know him, he's, he's the blanked guy, right? It just hit me now that he probably called this the DD Gill because of his name. Otherwise, he's just ex expecting me to catch a DD on it, which is not going to happen up here in New Hampshire. But if it does, I'm going to fly to California and give him a kiss on the cheek. Anyways, <laughs> this bait, super cool, super versatile. You can fish this bait at any speed. I, like I said, I have limited experience with this. I got it towards the end of the season last year. It's six and a half inches. It's 3.2 ounces. Uh, the thing that I like about this bait, I don't know if he's going to do it with everything, but this is black resin. So once you start getting that hook rash, you're not going to have that bright white. It's going to be black underneath. I don't know why more guys don't do that. I believe there's a reason they don't, but again, that stuff's over my head. Super versatile bait. You can burn this thing and will not blow out. You can fish it super slow. Um, I think this is the type of, of bait for me that I'll get more of a reaction bite on. I love the profile. I think he took his time making this bait and I think it's a beautiful bait and I hope it puts a lot of fish in the boat for me this year. Plan to fish it pretty hard. OD Rat Baits, this is the one piece that Mario makes. Finally got my hands on one at the end of last season. I have a little experience with this bait, so I have a little bit to say about it. This specific one, he did black and green resin swirl. So again, with that hook rash, you're not gonna have paint. You're just gonna keep digging through that same swirly color and it's, it's always gonna look pretty cool. And the one thing I picked up on with this bait last year is how well you can work this thing through pads. I think with that wide body, how it's wider than the hooks and that big lip, you can work this thing through lily pads and weeds like you wouldn't believe. You can also walk this thing really good. I like to work this bait pretty fast and violently, but you can, you can slash this thing back and forth when you're walking it compared to like his regular size where I'll just kind of like 
squeak that thing as slow as possible. This thing I like to make some ruckus with. I think this would be a really good night bait. But again, working this bait through the pads and stuff is just what I'm probably going to be using it most for because it blew my mind the shit that I was throwing this in early fall and getting it back to the boat with, with nothing on it. No grass, no pads, nothing. But the quality on Mario's baits are second to none. He always does a great job. He does some really cool stuff with the paintbrush like you saw with the juice collab we did with him and he did some awesome stuff for our Halloween drop and kind of blows my mind what this guy's capable of. But great bait. Can't wait to fish it some more. See what it can do for me next season. Please hang up and try again. Sherpa swim baits. This is a new cranking model. I think I got in on the first drop where he made these new ones with the bigger lips. These are supposed to be able to crank down five to six feet, which is for me, some of the places I fish is the absolute sweet spot. 6.25 inches, uh, just under four ounces. Comes with one out hooks. I opted for the perch pattern because my two most productive paint schemes are perch and golden china. And whenever I can snag one of those two paint schemes, I go for it. I mean, the finish on these too, unreal. It claims it def deflects off cover pretty well, which with that big lip, I, b I believe it. A New England guy, we do what we can to support other New Englanders especially in the swim bait community. If you haven't heard his podcast on uh, Scales and Tails yet, check it out. He had a, a pretty crazy story to tell, pretty entertaining. But yeah, he just dropped these. Uh, I think he made 50 baits. They sold out within less than 10 minutes. Glad I was able to scoop one up. KGB Crappy, another one of these baits that just looks so damn real. And that's the reason I bought it. Again, those times where you don't think you can get that reaction strike and you need to match that hatch. Just super realistic. I have zero experience with this bait. Uh, brand new. Got it over the winter. See other guys do well on this bait. I believe it's more of a, you fish it pretty slow and methodical. Bait that looks this good, you want to let the fish inspect it anyway and give it a reason to commit. Just an absolute beautiful bait. What's up guys? Long time no see. I uh, hope you had a good new year, good Christmas, all that shit. Uh, like Tyler said, we kind of had a interesting year last year with some personal issues that we both had to take care of that uh, took away for some of our time on the water. Uh, but we're ready for next year already, so got a lot of stuff in the shoot right now. Uh, as far as the site goes, and a lot of new tools, mostly Tyler. I'm kind of stuck in my own way, my old ways, I should say. When it comes to baits, I already have everything. Like I, I have everything covered essentially, and uh, I'm really picky, so it's tough for me to find new baits that I deem worth it. That would sideline something that I'm already you know, 100% confidence in with already a bunch of fish on it. Uh, but I do have two new baits that uh, I'm looking forward to throw next year. Got a little bit in with them this year towards the end of like mid-fall to the end of fall, I should say. Uh, I got a, a couple trips in with them. Nothing too crazy though, so uh, I know how they swim. I like how they swim, and I think they're going to be real game changers for next year. So we'll cut to some beauties, and I'll, I'll show you guys those things real quick. All right, so most of you are probably pretty familiar with this little nugget. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. So, Teeny Tom, Edwin and his kids make them. Legal dope. I've paid money and <laughs> requested uh, a similar profile bait build that dives as deep as this thing does probably four times now, and nobody's been able to do it. And I, I can't say better things about this bait. I mean, it's it's perfect. Like. That's my finger. Uh, swivel hook hangers. You know I'm addicted to those. The bill is like, it looks almost like a normal waking crank bill, right? Like it's nothing crazy. This thing dives down, I'm not even kidding you, eight feet. Like all day, dragging rocks, eight feet. Uh, I got to use it with Tyler a few times this year. You can see I got a couple chips in it and the bill, which I, I don't know if you'll just see it, but the bill's all scratched off and like digging down in rocks and stuff in the lake. This thing is gonna be deadly. Uh, I can't believe it. It's it probably weighs I don't know if I had to guess two ounces maybe two to 
th I don't know. So I'm not going to give you a real number. I don't know. I can't find my scale, but it's not heavy. It, the thing casts a mile, and it just swims so perfect. It's like, it's, again, I said it earlier where I don't really buy a lot of new baits. I've kind of, I've been doing this for long enough now where I, I really just have my go-to setups already. And nothing, you know, maybe because I'm just so used to them, but most of the stuff I've tried that's been newer hasn't really been able to perform the way I want it to. And this thing is ridiculous. So this is the Teeny Tum. It's smaller than the Tum Tum itself, which I'm hoping to find. If any of you guys are flipping shit on the universe, let me know, because I need to get one of them. Uh, and he also made an even giant one that's called the Mutumbo. And I don't know if he ever actually made them or if he just had the, uh, the wood carving one, but... I also need to get one of them. This thing is so sick. I'm super pumped on it, and I really, really think this might be uh, the number one bait for next year. Another cool dude, cool bait, Sherpa Swim Baits. Just a two-piece wake. Uh, I threw it probably twice last year again it was it was i had no confidence it was so cold out and so windy and just so shitty but i got to see how it swims and if you swim these things slow it's they're deadly like there's no way this thing i mean you you guys have seen pictures i'm sure all over the internet of how well these baits perform i'm pretty excited to have one myself now like this thing's or at least borrowed from nate i think this thing around some maybe some lay downs early morning mid spring early summer you know, like some pre-spawn times, I think this thing, again, will be murderous, especially where a lot of the ponds that I fish, you know, the the average depth is probably six feet. So in a place like that, the Tum Tum is kind of useless to me because it's, it's just going to get drugged through all the weeds and milfoil and all that trash. So a lot of wake baits are like kind of like my go-to for most of those spots just just to save the stress of every single cast having weeds and uh i'm hoping we'll see that this thing should perform or outperform a lot of the wakes that i i would go to right out fresh out the box so again sharper swim baits you guys know them i'm sure if you don't do a google because these things are deadly so that about wraps up this video uh if you guys have any questions let us know down below, shoot us a message on Instagram, whatever you want. If you have any questions about baits, styles of baits, the way we use them, why we use them the way we use them, or if you're unsure of a style or a technique that you're trying to figure out, uh, feel free to message us. You know, we, we respond pretty quick. Tell us real fast on Instagram stuff. We have another video coming out pretty soon about the go-to baits that Tyler loves, the baits that I love. Uh, you know, pre-spawn. We'll probably, we might go a little bit past that, maybe summertime baits, depending on how long the video ends up being. It might just be a shorter segment for ice out, pre-spawn, then we'll do another one later down the road. But uh, if you have any questions, again, let us know. Uh, thank you for following. We appreciate it. And I uh, hope you have a good new year. Yeah.